Hi, I am Sushanto. In this session, I will find the Fourier transform of xt equal to cosine 100 pi t. Now, cosine 100 pi t is a periodic function. So, it has its own Fourier series expansion. So, I get the Fourier series expansion of cosine 100 pi t using this result. So, this is 1 half e to the power j. Now, theta in this case is 100 pi t. So, it's 100 pi t plus e to the power minus j 100 pi t. So, this is the Fourier series expansion with infinite terms. Now, only two terms of those infinite terms have non-zero coefficients. So, this one has one half, this one has one half. So, only these two terms have non-zero coefficients. So, although it's an infinite series, only two terms have non-zero coefficients. Now we get the Fourier transform of these two terms to get the Fourier transform of this signal. So this is x omega is equal to one half Fourier transform of e to the power j times 100 pi t plus the Fourier transform of e to the power j times this is minus 100 pi times t. So now we make use of this formula here. So Fourier transform of e to the power j 100 pi t 100 pi is the omega 0. So this is 2 pi delta omega minus 100 pi plus. Now this is uh, omega 0 uh, in this omega 0 is minus 100 pi. So the Fourier transform is 2 pi delta omega minus minus 100 pi. So we ultimately get uh, 2 pi is common in both of them. So we can take it out. So 2 pi over 2 is pi pi times delta omega minus 100 pi plus delta omega plus 100 pi is the Fourier transform of this signal xt equal to cosine 100 pi t.